Alright guys, welcome back to another Let's Play of Stardew Valley, and today is Tuesday, the 23rd. Let's go ahead and check out the weather report. So it's going to be beautiful and sunny today. And the fortune teller, or tomorrow I should say, uh, spirits are somewhat mildly perturbed today. Luck will not be on our side. So that stinks, but we will prevail, as always. So I'm going to go ahead and let's see here. It looks like I was smelting up some gold. So we also learned that we're going to need a bunch of iron for upcoming projects. So I'm going to go ahead and smelt the two pieces that I can. Still pretty low on iron, but we need to start trying to get some of the other bundles completed as well in the community center so we'll be working on that a little bit i'm also gonna um try and start working on getting some mad money <laughs> because we need money to get to the other mine where like all of our hopefully our iron gold and iridium dreams will come true so i'm gonna plop all of those in there sell some stuff i might need to go through like my reserves on like what I have squirreled away and start selling that stuff as well because I do tend to hoard things a little bit so I mean I just I like saving things because I know that I'm gonna need it for like recipes I also know that a lot of people ask for things um, but since money is kind of like you know our goal right now. Let's see here. So, let's put some bars in our inventory and some wood and see about maybe making a seed maker so we can start um, making some seeds. We also should make like preserves because those sell for a lot more. Uh, keg. What do we need? We need resin. Uh... Ooh, I got two, so let's make two if I can. One, what do I need? Copper. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna sit here and start crafting some things up, start turning some of our crops into something that'll make us a bit more money, so that way we can start getting money a little bit faster, hopefully. Uh, because, I mean, these blueberries, yeah, they sell for a lot of money, but if you make something with them, like uh, jam, or like preserves, or wine, it actually sells for a lot more. So, today also looks to be the last day w where we can do some planting. So that way we don't accidentally plant something that's not going to grow in enough time. Um, yeah, so a lot of things we're going to try and get done today, you know, to try and make our little stardew lives a little bit better, but going to go ahead and get our morning chores out of the way, like watering our fields and everything, and I'll be back. Okay, so I got some additional copper smelted up. I'm going to go ahead and get some more smelted, uh, put away my reserves. I went ahead and made... Four more of these like charcoal kilns so that way I can start making more charcoal just because I'm like already running out <laughs> um, I also chopped down that tree so I need to put this tap on something else so now that I've got copper I was able to make two kegs which isn't quite a lot but it'll do for now um, do you need to start making sure I'm tapping trees more often, getting more taps? Maybe start organizing our farm a little bit better just to make things easier on myself as we go forward through the years here in our uh, our cute little farm. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of wrap this around. But where I want my seed maker, let's put that there and then I'll show you guys how it works so the strawberries 
were a big crop for us and the reason why I wanted to keep so many strawberries was to make seeds so that way next year I can plant them immediately and get a whole lot more uh, um, yields from the strawberries so I mean it's kind of a gamble the seed maker where you can get like one to I think the most I've ever gotten is maybe like three or four say I got three seeds off of that one strawberry so the idea is that you'll actually get more seeds off of the amount of crops that you put in so if you put in 10 strawberries you should definitely have more than 10 seeds by the end of it when you're done uh oh I'm, I'm like trying to put the seeds in i was like why is it not taking it so like i've already put three in and i've gotten five seeds out so it's a bit of a process and i'm gonna go ahead and make some jam as well you know to kind of sit here and do this i like to have like only two of these typically because you don't need a whole lot the seeds pop out really fast so it's not like you're having to sit there and like wait all day which is nice um so yeah it's kind of a a good chore to do like after you get a bunch of of the star fruit and stuff like that um especially the star fruit just because the seeds i think are like 400 dollars or 400 gold a pop and the star fruit only sells for like 750 so yeah that's like a huge profit margin but you know, eventually as you go along and the years kind of pass by, you'll kind of start figuring out ways to kind of cut down your production costs a little bit more to make more money. So yeah, so let's, uh, I'm going to go ahead and sell the star fruit. I'm going to keep the hops, especially now that I have a keg and sell all of our gold star stuff. Um, yeah, I'll sell the pepper. So, and go ahead and sell that as well. So, and I believe somebody's birthday is happening or coming up or something. So, we'll have to pop into town and kind of see what's up. I'll put this stuff up. I don't think I have enough. Oh, I can. I can make a crab pot. Okay, so yeah, let's make a couple crab pots. And we will go out into the world and use those as well show you guys how to to make those so I just crafted bait out of bug meat so it's just basically like chopped up bug meat so super delicious and nutritious <laughs> um yeah and i went ahead and put the strawberries in the kegs and the preserves jar so this will take a little while like a few more days and we'll have some strawberry wine and some preserves so which again which you know will will be uh some big ticket money items which will be good and so let's go ahead and check our our mushroom cave and just kind of take a look around the farm i should have done this a little bit earlier but that's okay Ooh, there's like a bunch of seeds which we need so i'll go ahead and pick up these yeah, it looks like there's some saplings here that need to be chopped down because they're too close to the other trees to really do anything helpful for us. So, see, and I do, I have like a bunch of taps on a bunch of trees, so hopefully those will start yielding us some more resin and stuff. Now, the crab pots. Let's see. I also need... So let's put up our mushrooms and oh wow so we actually need to chop down a bunch of trees today too because <laughs> we have like no wood is that what I'm seeing like yeah because I don't really remember which I mean I thought I had it like in the first two chests but yeah so I've pretty much used all my wood, <laughs> it looks like, and so what we're going to do is we're going to kind of <clears throat> swing around, go through the forest, and we'll hit the river and the ocean, maybe do some fishing, kind of get some fish, 
Um, oh yeah, we need to check to see whose birthday it is as well before it gets too late because I'm on a roll. Like this is the first time ever that I'm really doing a good job of making sure I'm getting everybody's birthdays and giving them presents and everything. So yeah, I mean, I could give them ice cream, but I guess I better grab a tulip as well or some sort of fl flower, floral, a, a floral, you know, because they make ni nice presents. <laughs> so because I honestly can't remember whose birthday it is. Like, I don't know, like short term memory, but I've been also playing like my own personal like experimentation map where I'm just kind of like seeing where things need to be laid out to make things super efficient. Uh, maybe I'll just grab all the tulips. You never know who you're going to run into. Like Elliot. <laughs> or not. <laughs> so, and it's already kind of late. Like, man. Crafting kind of took a long time today. But, I was trying to get enough wood to make a chest. And I'll show you why. Okay, so whose birthday is it? Oh, tomorrow is Willie's birthday. And he likes fish <laughs> and mead, but I don't have any mead yet. I think I have a diamond. Iridium bar, yeah, that's not happening, bub. Uh, let's see here. So Willie also wants us to catch two red snapper to keep the art of fishing alive. So, let's go back down to the forest, and I'm going to cop, uh, <laughs> cop down. I'm going to chop down. Oh, hi, Elliot. <laughs> the tide ebbed low today, revealing all sorts of interesting shells on my walk this morning. I spied some rarer varieties in the tide pools across the river. The little bridge to the, uh, across the water fell into disrepair one winter. The remnants of it still remain near my cabinet. Cabin, not cabinet. I can't talk today, apparently. See, Elias just got me all tongue-tied. Give him a flower so he'll like us more. <laughs> but I think we're doing pretty good on everybody's relationships. I mean, yeah. Just a couple people that we don't really have any hearts with yet, but that's okay. I think it's just mostly, like, the bachelors I have a good relationship with, just so I can get their cutscenes and see who we may or may not want to get hitched to. So, yeah. Uh, look, yeah, a little log there. So, yeah, today's not going to be too exciting. We're just going to be kind of doing some preemptive work. Ooh, okay, cool. So that way we'll kind of be better off for fall. Which, one of these things is definitely cutting down trees. Oh, and I wanted to go down to the little hat mouse too, but now that it's dark, I'll wait. Because I want you guys to kind of see what that entails uh, without it being um, too dark. So, maybe get something fancy off of that guy. But, I don't know, like, we're kind of poor right now a little bit. I do need to start upgrading some of our other tools, like the copper hoe probably needs to be next since fall is coming up. I just want to be sure that I can kind of like maybe rearrange some things and get next year's field, um, you know, put all the sprinklers on there and get everything kind of closer together so that way maybe it's not such a big deal to kind of take care of things. Um, let's see here. So I think the beach is so cool looking at night like ah I love the water. Anyways so and there's Willie fishing and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick one of these crab pots in the water and then you have to put bait in it. If you do not bait your crab pot um yeah, you're you're gonna be SOL because it's just gonna collect trash. Um, and you know what? I'll go ahead and put the other one in there. I was gonna put one in the river, but I'll just put both of them in the ocean because then I might get some lobster. And what I'm gonna do is put uh, a chest down over here 
so that way I can keep bait nearby, so that way I'm not accidentally forgetting. And since we're here, let's just do some night fishing. I mean, might as well, right? So, we'll be able to kind of sell some other fish that we get, hopefully, for uh, some money. Kind of start getting our money reserve back up after buying that bag. So that way, next season, I'll be able to buy a bunch of seeds right off the get-go. Looks like uh, getting a lot of seaweed to make sushi with, but not a lot of fish just yet. See what this one is. Ooh. Halibut. Thanks. Mm -hmm. And I should also look up how to get red snapper. So red snapper can be found in the ocean between 6 a.m. and 7 p.m. summer and fall and only when it's raining. So that's going to be kind of hard to do, really. Hmm. I might have to make a rain totem if I can. I don't know if I have the materials. I don't even know if I've um, learned the recipe just yet, so I'll have to take a look and see. Should probably start making totems more often. Oh god. That bounce at the bottom whenever that green bar hits the bottom, it's a killer sometimes. Um, let's see what we got. Ooh, frozen geodes. Let's see here. So I know how to make the warp totems for the mountains and the beach. I don't know how to make the rain one yet. Hmm, because you can actually summon rain, which is nice. But, yeah. The weather report said tomorrow's going to be sunny, so that's not going to help me at all. It might be a fishing thing where I have to learn... Oops. I have to... Oh, God. No. Uh, no. Little fish. Dang it. Okay. Oops. Oh, no. I don't want to fish anymore. It's late. I'm gonna get home. Um, yeah. So let's toss this trash really quick. While I think of it. Um, yeah. Rain totem. I do. I think it might be a fishing thing that hopefully... Since we're fishing more, I'll be able to get my skill up and learn how to do that fast. Man, I am going to cut it close. It's 1.30. <laughs> oh, man. I think I, gotta, I have enough time to drop uh, some stuff off. <clears throat> Pardon me. And the... Ben. So I'm actually going to sell the shells because I haven't been really making fertilizer. I mean, obviously, because I'm like towards the end of the growing season, but um, I'll be able to get a better recipe as well later on. So that way I can make some higher quality. Ah, oh, look how nice and cozy this looks. Like the the fireplace and our dog. Nice. Oh yeah, we made quite a bit of money off of those bat wings. <laughs> Not too shabby. Yeah, see, starfruit sold for eight hundred and twenty-five. Nice. So yeah, we did pretty well. With just going through this, our stuff and kind of seeing what we could sell. And today is Willie's birthday. I guess I'm going to have to buy him a beer or something. Because I don't know if he'll like to receive a flower or not. Ooh, storm approaching. Well, that's good. Be a little too late to fulfill his quest, though. And Queen of Sauce is a rerun for an omelet. And the spirits feel neutral today. Ooh, we got quite the crop come in last night as well. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and let's see here. Let's go ahead and go through here. Oh, coffee beans came in. I don't know why I didn't grow more coffee, but oh well. 
bunch of blueberries. Our spangles and everything came in today, so, and this is gonna be a lot easier watering everything since, uh, now I have less things to water. <laughs> and yeah, I'll go ahead and get that done and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've gotten everything watered and I went ahead and I totally forgot about this too. Like, I was making my life so much harder than it had to be. So there's actually like a little button over there where you can click and see what you need for the community center bundles. And just, I kind of like took a look to kind of see what fish we have hoarded away that I could uh, probably put to better use by taking it to the community center. Um, so we're gonna do that today. I also do want to go ahead and get Clint to update our hoe. Although, hmm, what level is our watering can again? Because it said it was going to rain tomorrow. So it might actually be better to do. Yeah, so we're going to take that in and get that upgraded. Um, I also want to stop by Robin's to see what we need to upgrade or to buy a horse stall so that or a stable so that way we can actually get a horse and get around town a lot faster um yeah i mean the mine carts will definitely oops well, i said i clicked on mine because i said mine cart oh wait and i went back to the bus stop what am i doing oh my god i'm lost i don't know what i'm doing okay um the mine carts are definitely going to help out a lot so i mean i guess it's not too imperative right now but it will be nice to get a horse yeah because that took ten thousand although i did get a really huge crop come in so that's going to help offset a lot of the money that i just spent but yeah i do want to go down to robin's and uh, let's go ahead and do that really quick just because I'm not quite sure what time her shop closes. Like, you can't even really look at her hours. Ooh, and I'm like super out of energy already from watering and chopping down a tree or two. Um, yeah, like she doesn't really have her shop hours like on the map. So, oh, never mind. I am a liar. Shop open 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Okay. I just don't know what days she's open and closed. Like, I know she does aerobics, but I think she's kind of, like, there in the morning and then she leaves or something. I don't know. It just never seems like she's here whenever I need her. <laughs> okay, so, construct farm buildings. Stable. Oh, I need 100 hardwood and 5 iron bars, as well as 10,000 gold. So, need to start chopping down those stumps. I mean, I think I have enough hardwood, really, but I mean, you need hardwood for, like, a lot of things, so might as well, right? And it'll be so much easier to chop them down as well once I get my axe upgraded, too, so that's happening sometime in the near future, I hope. But, I mean, for this, like, first year, like, I've done pretty well with getting upgrades and whatnot. So, let's chop down this tree. And then after I chop down this tree, I'm going to go ahead and head back down to the ocean. Which, I mean, it might be, like, a skosh faster if I take the minecart. So going into town. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna check our crab pots and see if we got anything new like in them today that we might need for a community center bundle. Um, yeah. See if there's anything in them and then make sure we rebate them. Ha. <laughs> rebate. Sounds like, yeah, giving somebody some money back, I guess. But, um, so yeah. See? Ta-da! 
so they're like shaking because there's something in them and the best way to do this so crab bots are kind of a pain sometimes because if you click on them again you pick them up and whenever you've got like a big long line of them it's kind of a pain because you you're accidentally like getting the items out but you're also accidentally picking them up too so it's always best to have the bait in your hand whenever you're pulling like your crabs and stuff out of it and then just rebait it so i don't hmm, i think i already have a cockle in the bundle so i'm not entirely sure but we'll see because I'm pretty close to completing that bundle and I think it gives us like, I don't know. I can't remember what the reward is for it, but it'll be nice and I want it. So, <laughs> all right, uh, slime hunter four slimes. How many days do I have to do that? Two days. Mm. So, I mean, at least I'll be able to get that one done. And that's 500 gold, so that's quite nice. Nice bit of, you know, chunk of change. Alright, so, crab pot. Oh, I don't have a cockle. Nice! And then this little mussel. Do, 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 do. Like, I kind of wonder if it's going to give me crab pots. <laughs> Yeah, crab pots for my crab pots. Nice. Okay, and then uh, river fish. Shad. Sunfish. And that's it for now. And that one. I don't have any night fish on me, so I need to start fishing at night. Well, bullhead and carp. Oh, I already have a largemouth bass in there. Um... So, specialty fish, ghost fish. Yep, and that's it for that. So, that's really all I brought myself. Or brought with me. And there he goes, taking his little bundle to their little hut. Alright, now these I'll be able to put in the river. And I kind of need to put them somewhere where someone's not going to, like, accidentally, like... Like, Willie's not going to sit there and, like, fish, like, where I place them and potentially break them or something or pick them up. Um, so, I get, I don't know. I think he normally fishes over there. So, ooh, can you put them on the bridge? That would actually kind of help out. No, it's too far away because it needs to be, like, at least one away. So, I'll just put them here. And the question is, can I put a chest here? Like, I've never put a chest over here. See, and this is also dangerous, too, because people like to stand over here and look at the, the river. And I don't want them accidentally breaking the chest. <laughs> like, if it's in their way, like if it's in their path. Uh, and I'll just take the bait off of my fishing pole. There we go. So, yeah. It just kind of makes me nervous to put this here. But I kind of want to be able to do it, like, all on the way whenever I'm going down to the ocean. So that's why I want them there versus kind of, like, somewhere where they'll be more likely to be safe. Um, and let's buy a beer. And see if we can't meet up with Willie really quick while we're on the side of town and give him his birthday present. Because I wanted to go and try and kill some slimes. Especially since our luck is neutral. Like, usually neutral days are really good. You know, with our luck and stuff. So, oh, I like instinctively just like wanted to go say hi to Elliot. <laughs> so funny. It's got bad. <laughs> I'm trying really hard to be objective to see if I want to marry someone else this time. Because, you know, it's fun to, like, marry, like, you know, different bachelors and kind of see what you do and stuff with them. You remember my birthday. Thank you. This is great. No problem. Pretty good birthday. Sitting there drinking a beer. 
getting some fish. Oh, I don't have the tulips on me, or I would give one to Leah. Yeah, let's just check over here really quick, see if there's any other things like coral or anything, but alas, there is nothing. So, what I'll do is I'll go up and take the mine cart into the mines and just kind of see if I can quickly finish. Oh, hi, Elliot. <laughs> it's Willie's birthday today. I have something special in mind for him. He was my first friend in town as I moved right onto his beach. If you're looking for ideas, he loves mead, pumpkins, and sea cucumbers. Oh, thanks, Elliot. Such a good friend. <laughs> like, I love him. Anyways. Like, but I need to not. Because I could marry Sam or Harvey. Who knows? Uh, Alright, mines. And so, the red guys are down ooh, here. And I'm already going to have to, like, eat some more ice cream because my energy is down pretty low. So, I'm going to have to buy some more of that before summer is gone. Because it does. It gives you quite a bit of energy for relatively, you know, a low amount of money. So, until you get, like, a kitchen and you're able to make a lot of meals and stuff, it's a pretty good way of maintaining your energy levels is by eating tons of ice cream. <laughs> like, the life sounds amazing. Dang, man. And I, okay, I was going to say, I haven't even found the ladder yet. This is not a good sign. Although, I did find one slime. I think we only need four. So hopefully I'll be able to do this in one night and get the money from Lewis as soon as I see him. Whether or not I'll be able to see him tonight, I don't know. It's kind of late already. So, I don't know. I mean, I hope like my like scheming of like planning out my day and stuff doesn't stress anybody out. <laughs> like, Because I know a lot of people are kind of, you know, I mean, this is a fun game and it's a very fun you know, regardless of what your play style is. Like, if you only want to concentrate on one skill, or if you want to concentrate on all of them, or or if you're, like, super hyper, like, pay attention to the time, and, like, how many things can I get done in a day, like I do, or if you just, you know, if you're like, meh, I just want to take it easy, and, you know, I don't have to have all these fancy things, like, first year. So, but yeah, I hope, um... I like trying to run around and do a bunch of stuff in one day. It doesn't stress anybody out. Ooh, jackpot. Ooh, those black guys, man. Ding! Sweet. Okay, so we got it done. But there's no way I'm going to get to Lewis's house before it closes. I think he closes his doors at like 11. Because he's he kind of stays available pretty late. Ooh, okay. So you want to kill him before he shot a fireball at me. It's a pretty nice level. I mean, got some gold and stuff. Eh, might as well just break these rocks before I like hit it once. No, there's a miasma and it's 12 o'clock. Like, I need to find the ladder, like, right now. Oh, there it is. Ooh, wouldn't it be nice if I could find the ladder, like, right now so that way I could get down to the next level and have the elevator? I'm like, yes, please. Oh, it's starting to feel exhausted. Ugh, all right, fine. <sighs> you know what? All right, let's see here. What do I have in my inventory that I can nosh on? for some quick energy because I'm like I am like so close to another level where I would have an elevator I'm like I just don't want to leave no <laughs> and I only have 73 stone so I don't have enough stone to make a ladder down oh this is bad now it's one o'clock. It's late. 
Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna pass out again. Oh no, and I made myself exhausted. I wasn't paying attention. Ugh. This is not a good day. But, I mean, maybe I'll get something interesting. Ooh, there's a ruby. Oh, I have like 92 stones. Come on, where's the ladder at? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna pass out and it'll be for nothing because I don't have the ladder. Oh, 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 I have 101 stones, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Um, 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 staircase. Oh god, and I'm like almost out of time. Oh my god! <laughs> It was for nothing. Oh my god. That sucks so much. Dang, nabbit. I was like panicking. Yeah, I should have like thought about it more. I'm like, okay, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna make it and immediately place it down. But I was, yeah. Ugh. Oh my god, and look at our energy. We have no energy. <sighs> at least it's raining. So, and the spirits are annoying today though. Uh, living off the land. Fall's almost here. It's arguably the most lucrative season for farmers. So make sure you're saving some money to buy new seeds. If you haven't upgraded your watering can by now, it's probably a good idea. Yes, we have definitely done so and are doing so once more. Uh, okay, Linus found us, so we got mugged last night. <laughs> uh, to Farmer Drew, my knee is acting up again, and you know what helps? Rubbing a darn... The, the darn thing with a hot pepper. Trouble is, my supplies run dry. If you got one to spare, I'd be much obliged. George, accept quests. Okay. So, <laughs> I, just, I still am just like so bitter about that. Um, We have this energy pill that was given to us. But I guess I'll eat the salad that I have. Because I'm not quite sure how much energy I'm going to need today. I'm going to sell those rubies and the diamond, though. Uh, the rainbow shell. I guess I'll just keep everything else for now. But since it's raining, I definitely want to do some fishing today. Because the rain, it comes so rarely. And there is quite a bit of different species of fish that you could only get if it's raining. So yeah, we're going to take advantage of this for sure. Okay, so I got quite a bit of seeds. So I'm going to make some granola bar, or a granola bar apparently. What do I need? I need maple seeds. Uh, yeah, I definitely have some to spare. So I'll just make another one for some energy and put away... Everything else got our mushrooms out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sell some of the stuff that I was hoarding as well. But I got some melons today, which is good. Um, did we ever... Let's see here. So knee therapy, we need to take George the thing. And, oh, Pam wants some pale ale. So I need to make some as well of that as soon as I can. Um, but these are still hard at work. So we haven't gotten anything quite yet. I'm gonna go ahead and sell all but one melon. And all but one pepper. Yeah. So that'll bring us in quite a bit of money. Oh, I also need to rebate... our fishing rod so I have to do some grinding for some bug meat as well this is like the first time ever that I've actually kind of run out of bug meat so that's a bit interesting and let's go into town so Clint is working hard on our watering can which we'll be able to receive tomorrow oh, and looks like we got a Periwinkle? Oh, so, okay, yes. Example of what I was talking about. It's better to have the bait in your hands. So that way you don't accidentally pick up your stuff. 
And I'm actually going to start saving my trash. I know that kind of seems weird, but there's a reason for it. Um, but Periwinkle, a tiny freshwater snail that lives in a blue shell. You can sell it for 20 gold off of base value. Um, let's see here if Lewis is in his house. Get our money for slaying the slums. Okay. Nice, nice. And yeah, let's do some fishing. So I'm going to sit here and kind of take a look and see what we need for the community center. And like catfish, I know is a rainy day fish, for instance, um, and see where I need to be at what time of the day to kind of hopefully get some of these fish off of our list that we need. Okay. So there's quite a bit of things that we can get, um, but we're going to try and get some red snapper, which if you guys remember, that's what Willie was asking for. Um, but it wasn't raining, but now it is. Oh, I should have done it over there after I took a look to see what was in our pots and stuff, but that's okay. And these fish are only available during the first half of the day. So kind of need to get it done. Oh, whoops. Yeah, see? I did it. I did the thing that I said not to do. Picked up <laughs> the crap box. Um, got a lobster. Nice. Which, that's one of Elliot's favorite things. So I kind of might give it to him, thinking. Even though, again, not supposed to be playing favorites. Had a bit. Come on, red snapper. You know you want to get on my hook. It is so alluring. It's so cute! <laughs> it's so tiny! Red Snapper! And we got a new achievement! Oh! Which reminds me of the mouse hat, which I have not been going to these past few days. Even though I keep saying that I'm gonna do it. So let's go ahead and run over to the house mat. Er, <laughs> the house mat. Oh god. <laughs> First let's see if Elliot's home. Let's say hi. Gunther keeps the library cool in the summer to protect the books and the collections. Yes. Um, okay, and give him... True, this is a beautiful gift. Thank you. Hehehe. He he. No problem, babe. <laughs> you know, I'll just date a bunch of people, keep my relationship open, see where things take us before we make any commitments. That's just what I'm going to do. So, and Elliot will be one of those that I do that with. <laughs> Um, but, so, the catfish is also a rainy day one, which is a river fish. So, we will stay in this vicinity and do some fishing today as well. Dang, look at all these trees to chop down. Ooh, some bushes up there. They clean up. But, see, this is why I never come down here, because it's such a long walk. Hello, Hat Mouse. So he has hats for us to buy. Um, yeah. So that's a thing. And the more achievements you get, I believe, is what hats get unlocked. So, like, I usually buy the daisy, because I really like it, or, like, one of the bows. So... Uh, it's, they're so expensive, though. They're like a thousand gold. But you know what? Let's go ahead and splurge. So, bought a daisy, and you can hardly see it. But there's this slot that obviously it's like a hat. So, obviously, your hats go there. And ta da! Now we have a flower in our hair. Ah, so pretty. Oh, and now. Oh, okay, that was really weird. I was like stuck. <laughs> Alright! <laughs> Just a weird day. Um, but let's get away from the lake because I don't want to go lake fishing. 
I'm gonna go river fishing. So we can get some catfish. I love catfish. It's so delicious. Oh, wait. I think this is the shoot. I don't know if this is the river or if this is the lake. It's kind of like... I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't know. This area is kind of big right here. So I don't know if this will be construed as the river or the shad. Shad is river fish. Okay, well... So it looks like this is the river. Not a lake. The thing over there with the dock, I think, is just what's considered to be the lake over here. But I don't know. You never know, I guess. <laughs> so. And then there's one more fish that I want to try and get, which is something that is only available at night. So that's going to be like after 7, I think, while it's raining, um, which is a walleye. Oh, that's only during fall, though. Never mind. Oops. Not paying attention. I forgot, like, the information up on the left side on my screen, so. Come on, catfish. Okay, so I might actually go into the forest to go to the pond because I think that's where I usually catch my catfish, like for whatever reason. I don't know if it's just like there's less fish to kind of compete with like what I'm going to get there or what, but it just seems to be a little bit more lucky for me. So, and the secret pond in here, it's nice because, ooh, fiddlehead ferns. Um, those seem to be, like, I don't know, it used to be, like, where those would be in here, like, every day. Like, during the summertime, but I don't know, I guess maybe it changed or it just, yeah, they're super rare now. Um... But this pond is a good place to come fishing just because it's like, I don't know, it, it kind of like extends your chances for like certain types of fish. Like that might be like out of season or something. So like everywhere else. But yeah, I like to fish in here. Plus I like the music. Even though it's kind of weird because we can't hear the rain. <laughs> just kind of a weird little error, but that's okay. Ooh, oh. But yeah, I catfish always seems to be like a fish that people ask for a lot as well. So, oh god, yeah, that one was a bit hard. Um, so it's always good to kind of stock up on catfish, I think. But yes. Raining days are just a good day anyways to kind of maybe prioritize fishing above mining. Dang it, man. I'm like wondering if those like hard fish that are like not having a good time like uh, getting them. If those are the catfish that I'm missing. But um, yeah, so since it's raining, you know, obviously we don't need to water our plants. So farming isn't going to be a big priority on raining days. So fishing is usually a good day, or a good thing to do whenever it's raining. Wood skip. Oh. Okay, so you know what? <clears throat> I am a complete spaz. The catfish is only available during the spring and fall, so that's why I haven't been able to... Uh, <laughs> So yeah, get any. Um, sunfish are only available for like 50 more minutes. Um, let's see here. So, I don't know. It might have just been the red snapper today, really. So, I'm just going to have to do some more uh, fishing at the sea and stuff during sunny days, it looks like. Um, yeah, that's really everything that I can 
get, really, that I need for bundles today. So, it's just summer is not like a really big fishing season for like certain areas. I think it's bigger for like um, the river probably. Maybe the lakes. But it looks like fall is definitely going to be a busy fishing season for us just based on what fish will become available at that time. Looks so cute with my flower in my hair. <laughs> I usually wear that this hat like during special occasions as well. Because I'll try and match my outfits with what festival might be going on or what season is going on um but we're not friends with the wizard so we can't do any wardrobe changes i'm very 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 much hoping that the um the maker of the dress up mod where you get to change what you're wearing um based on your preferences and what you do and stuff updates the mod now that uh, the multiplayer should be out by the time I release this for Steam and stuff, so which I think may have been what they were waiting on. I'm hoping at least. So, because I, I was sitting there like, <laughs> like going through like all the communications like on Nexus mods and stuff, and they said that they were going to start in May, but um, something came up, so. They weren't able to complete it, but yeah, that was like the last we heard from them, so just like, ah, I don't know. I just, I think that that feature should be added in the game, like, kind of how they have it versus going to the wizard for an appearance change. Because it would be nice to be able to dress up during festivals and stuff. Like, and even, like, getting married, because... When you get married, you wear what you're wearing. Like, you don't get to wear a dress or a suit. Which is kind of, like, I don't know. It's, like, one of the very few things of the game that, like, really, really bothers me. That I'm just like, really? Like, I don't wear a dress during the flower festival. But, then ifs. Maybe eventually it'll be a feature. So... Because Concerned Ape is still working on the game, so he's continually adding things and kind of tweaking things. He is also working on another game, which I'm very excited to play, because it's magic-based. Like, it looks like you're kind of like a magic student or something, going to like wizarding school, so that is going to be amazing. I'm so excited, so... There's only just been like promotional pictures and like news here and there that comes out about it. So I haven't really seen any hard, you know, set in stone dates for it. But, um, okay. So let's sell the fern and the sweet peas. Um, and I think I'm just going to go back to hoarding some of the fish. Because, I mean, I'll be able to make meals out of them later on, but... Plus, oh, and I never did, uh... Give George and Demetrius their items that they requested, but that's okay. I'll be able to do that next time. Um, hmm. And I wanted to start saving the trash, but I'll... I'll toss this trash. And just save the stuff that I get in the crab pots. Since we'll need it later. Okay. So let's go ahead and hit the hay. And see how much we made. Oh, and now we can make a little recycling machine, which is why I wanted to start hoarding the trash. Because you put in trash in this, and you get um, something out of it, like material, like um, like coal or wood. Um, I think you get refined quartz, depending on like if you put some glasses in there. I think that's what you get from that. But yeah, so I'll actually be able to start getting some 
good use out of all the trash that we're going to be collecting out of the, the water. Alright. Yeah, not too shabby. Got quite a bit of money off of yesterday's haul, which is nice. Ooh, another day of storms. Nice. I love it. Okay, cool. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. We'll give our... our our, oh, our, our booch, uh, a pet, and that a ring, I guess. But if you enjoyed the episode, please hit that like button. It always helps support the channel every time you guys do. And if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to be alerted whenever I post new videos or I do a live stream. But yeah, until next time, take care, guys.